Hello, my friends. I want to show you the dried result of the video you're about to watch, a flip cup with silicone. It's dried, not cured yet, so it's not varnished, but I think it came out really pretty. I'm loving these colors together. But before we get to the pour, let me quickly share with you my new book. I put together a book of my embellished pours. I won't be showing this on every video, I promise you. But if you missed my last one, um, I'll link it up above where you can get a, a closer look at each page. But it, it's uh, full color, big pictures of some of my pours. And I have a handful of these left. If you're interested, details on how to get one are below in the description box. One that didn't make it into the book is my latest embellishment. And that's this snow leopard here. Let's see, can you see the whole thing? Well, oops, I just stepped on some paintings. Um, it's a little bigger than what you see here, but you can see the main guy. I've had this swipe laying around for a couple of years and it was really bright blue. It was just too bright. I felt it would interfere with any kind of an embellishment. So I finally had the idea to just put a white wash over the whole thing and it just toned it down so nicely. Kind of looked icy blue to me and that's what gave me the idea to embellish it with this snow leopard. He has sold already, which I'm happy about, but kind of sad as well because I think he's one of my best embellishments. And if I make more books, he will make it into volume two and I will be making note cards out of him. And that way he will live on. Okay. Enough of that, let's get to today's video. Okay, so I've decided to do a, a flip cup with silicone. And my colors, I have a few custom colors, but for the most part, they're right from the tube. Phthalo Green Blue, Artist Loft Old Gold, I used up the tube. Um, what is this? What is this? I think this was Metallic Blue by Artist Loft, and I didn't have quite enough to m make up a, enough, so I added some Lake Blue to it by Master's Touch. I've got Artist Loft White, Artist, or Master's Touch Thalo Blue. This is white with Thalo Blue. And then I had too much of this Thalo green blue, so I and it was too thick, so I poured some of my white in here and added a little bit of this, so it's a lighter shade of that color. So I've kind of arranged them dark light, dark light, and I fill up two cups and flip. I put silicone in each of the colors except for white and gold, about one drop per ounce of mix. There we go. This is a beautiful color, the Soho Thalo Green Blue. Oops. I haven't done a flip cup in quite some time. I don't use a lot of silicone, but um, once in a while it's really fun. Because uh, you just can't get um, the shape of silicone cells. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think the the shape of the bloom cells, I guess, look like silicone cells without the silicone. But that recipe is just too complicated <laughs> for my liking. I like to keep things simple. And, um, and these always look different. The bloom, if it's done well, it, it looks the same. Although the, I'm not talking against it. It's just not for me um, because the um, color combinations, of course, are endless, so no two are 
completely alike, but you can always recognize, oh, that's a bloom. And I, I prefer a little mystery, like, oh, how did you do that? So, anyway, enough of that. I don't have much of this at all. I might just have to pour it all out, sandwich it between the two layers. Oh, boy. For once, it's not slinky at the door, it's the dogs. The dogs disturbing the peace. Sorry about that background noise. My husband is doing something in the garage and he's got the uh, air compressor on. I'm using a flow draw? No, glue. Glue and golden mix. I will put the ratios down below. It's it's pretty thick. I'll show you on the um, light blue color the consistency. I hope I didn't leave it too thick for cells to appear, but uh, I think we'll be okay. See that? I got a lot of this. I love the drama of uh, a phthalo blue. Oh, you know, I, it was thalo blue, and then I added a little um, metallic black to it to darken it. And I really like that color. All right, here's the, the light blue. Let's see if I can bring this up for you to see the consistency. It leaves a, a mound, a trail on a mound, but it disappears. Let's see. It disappears in about three seconds. Okay, and here we go. It looks so pretty from the side. Let's see if I can do this. One, two, three. That wasn't too bad. And one, two, three. Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna flip one kind of this way and that one I'll go that way. And while that's um, percolating down, I forgot to fire up my torch. So let me fill that up real quick while, while that uh, settles. My friend Nilda sent me a new torch, but um, it's very different than what I'm used to, and I just haven't gotten the hang of it, so I'm still using my old one. Okay, that's working. Okay, and here we go. Flip. Oh, it's pretty. Do that. Okay. 
interesting. I mean, they're, they're pretty similar, but there's more dark showing there. You'd think they would be identical being filled up just the same, but um, that's fluid art for you. Let's see, I think I will move it around a little bit before I torch. Okay. It's pretty as is, but uh, I should get some cells. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Paint may have been a little thick. It's a fine line. You have to have it thick enough so the cells will hold their shape, but not so thick that the silicone can't work its way through. Kind of cute. I like these delicate little cells, although I'm going to tilt and stretch them some more. more than I usually I usually torch but okay here we go look how cute I got her right now I love the shape of those cells. Okay, that's pretty. The little green and gold ones there. That's there. Well, I like having the negative space as well. Now, let's see as far as composition. I have I don't care for this shape here, but I do like those cells. That always happens. Because I'm weird, weird shape right in the middle. Maybe I can get rid of that. I have plenty of paint on the surface here. Yeah, I just don't like it. And I get the cells to grow. And it's too bad. I had to lose a lot, but I didn't like that, that shape. And I'm happier now. There's some cells over here. Can't see them, but they're kind of. I don't care for the look, so I had to run them off totally. And I, I did. Um, 
stir the silicone in really well because the cells grow with tilting. If you don't stir your silicone in well, you're going to have big globs of silicone. And I don't think you want that. That's a pretty little cluster there. I'd like to open that up, but uh, I'm starting to lose the shape of things by all this tilting. Let's see. You know what? I think I'll live with that. Oh, this is pretty over here. I love this blue. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm going to hit it with a torch one more time. And call it good. My gloves off, so I am done. And my torch is dying. No, my torch is kaput. Let me try the one Milda sent me. It's very cute, but it's very different than what I'm used to. Turn that, turn that, and I've not seen a whole lot happening. Just some tiny little, little ones popping up, and they will grow a little bit, but for the most part. What you see is what I'm going to get. Oh, see, then it doesn't turn itself off when you let go of the button, and that's what I'm not used to. Okay. I think it's kind of pretty. Let me bring it in for a closer look. I love this blue area there. I think that's a beautiful color. This is the little cluster. It's very pretty colors, but I wish they weren't so squished. Aren't those cute right in the middle there? I like the variety of cell sizes. Okay, my friends. There you go. Flip cup with silicone. Siliconed. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. See you next time.